Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to show you how I loaded the four-wheeler into the box, with the 6.4 box and the Ram box. I'm going to show you right now how I did it. Um, one thing first, somebody asked on one of the comment sections in one of the videos what ramps I use. So here's the ramps here for folding. 700 pounds, they're 12 inches wide. The company is Prime or One Prime Automotive Accessories. They're from China, I guess. They were cheap. Uh, I had to assemble the whole thing, so they were pretty cheap. I think they were $69 or something, whatever I paid. And they're folding. So I'll get up in the truck there and I'll show you that right there. If I can get in the truck. <laughs> so here's the rack that I built. Uh, it's going to get some modifications. I've only had that rack for for about eight months. So that's what I did. I got to put ramps on it still. I'm using those logs there to as ramps to get the four wheeler to go up over it. I've got the e-tracking to strap the wheels down to it. And right now, I'm strapping it down to the truck with this because I didn't want to drill holes in the floor. And then once the four-wheeler's on it, then I strap the wheels to the e-tracking. But I'm going to change that because uh, it's not working that well with the um, with the wheel wheel straps. It's hard to use the ratchet and the wheel well. On my other truck, I had a rack on the back, so I couldn't go to the front. Right now, I'm going to the front, but I noticed when I undid it today that the uh, the window's kind of in the way of it. So I'm going to be changing that when I put the uh, retracting ramps on it. So I'll have a video of that, how I did that, so you get a better look at at this thing here. So yeah, that'll be upcoming too. But yeah, that's how I did it. Uh, the height of it, the height of it is going to depend on the ATV that you're putting in. Um, how I figured out my height, I uh, I used wooden pallets. And uh, I adjusted the wooden pallets as I needed uh, with the ATV in it. I kept closing the gate and, until everything was right. And then I measured the height of the skids that were left in there. And uh, and then, yeah, then I just started building this. The aluminum angle iron is attached to a um, aquarium stand I found in the garbage. On somebody's lawn. It was garbage day. Saw the aluminum. <laughs> aquarium stand and thought ah, I could use that so I bought it and yeah that's uh, that's what I did so yeah there'll be a video on that coming up uh, the trip that I was going on was cancelled so uh, this is my plan B spot because I wanted to post some videos on the weekend so that'll be rescheduled that trip uh, for the ATV ride but yeah so this is my plan B no camping today but uh yeah that's how I get that into the um, into the truck so thanks for watching and uh, have a good day thanks like and subscribe this is uh, the four-wheeler uh, loaded and strapped down the ramps fit right underneath it. That's just all the ends of the straps all tied down there, all the loose ends. Here's the thing here I was talking about the wheel well. Tried it the other way. So, it's a little close. Anywho. That is it. Thanks for watching.